Thank you for joining us today at our Living with Wildfire mini series. My name is Amelia and I'm with the Trinity County Resource Conservation District and I'm here with Aaron Taylor of the United States Department of Agriculture Natural Resources Conservation Service and she's here to share with us what resources are available to our Trinity County residents. Welcome Aaron. Hello Trinity County. My name is Erin Taylor and I'm the District Conservationist for the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service or NRCS for short. Thank you for tuning in to the Living with Wildfire mini series today and I'd like to be able to tell you a little bit more about NRCS and what some of the local opportunities we offer um, here in Trinity County. And so at no cost to you, NRCS's mission is to help people help the land. And by doing that, we um, at no cost to you, like I mentioned, uh, we can provide free technical assistance to, uh, to meet with you on site at your property to discuss your conservation goals and objectives and start developing a conservation plan that'd be unique to, to you and your land. And if you like, Two, we can actually provide financial assistance if you would like to be able to implement those identified conservation practices through uh, the steps of a competitive or ranking process. So first you would apply and then we would um, determine if you're eligible or your entity is eligible and then we would rank your conservation application um, and then uh, since it's it is a competitive uh, ranking process we will then um, let you know if your conservation plan was selected or not for a contract and then the last step would be to um, put the conservation work um, on the ground and uh, completing your conservation plan through the help of um, NRCS's financial assistance the most popular financial assistance program is called EQIP or the Environmental Quality Incentives Program. And so just to give you a quick snapshot of what some what the common 2021 ranking pools in Trinity County are is for fuels reduction related work. We have our Forest Health Interior Coast Range and Southern Cas Cascades ranking pools. We also have a unique agreement with the U.S. Forest Service for those uh, for the private lands that border U.S. Forest Service land to implement fuels reduction work through our Joint Chiefs for Trinity County Watersheds ranking pool. And for those of you that have unfortunately been affected by the August complex last year, we do have the catastrophic fire recovery ranking pool as well to assist um, you and your land. So what is a conservation plan and what could potentially um, be included? So uh, for a forest related land use, um, some typical NRCS conservation forestry activities include developing a written forest management plan for your property. We can also assist with thinning your forest stand um, to improve the overall health and composition of your forest stand. And then of course, to be able to reduce the, that biomass accumulation, we can also assist with disposing of the treated slash. Um, and also uh, we can also assist with preparing your site for further and future tree and shrub plantings. We can also assist with removing invasive non-native or noxious species that might typically not belong in there. And then we can also assist for erosion control. Uh, this specifically can be an example of um, installing or enhancing a culvert on your property that might have been damaged. Well, um, for me, seeing is believing, and so I wanted to include um, a quick uh, series snippet of what an unthinned forest uh, may look like. Um, this is the progress photo through a mastication and pruning process, and this is what a treated stand looks like um, after it has been uh, successfully thinned and pruned. 
I wanted to include a conservation success story from a previous NRCS client that um, quote, uh, potential losses from a wildfire were once a major concern, but now that we have gotten our fuels under control, maintenance is easier and we can sleep at night, e uh, sleep easier at night. For more information in regards to post fire related uh, assistance, please visit the NRCS post fire disaster assistance webpage. And for general information on NRCS and to familiarize yourself with um, one or some or all of the various programs and conservation practices that we offer, please visit the USDA NRCS California webpage. And here's just an example of what the homepage shall look like. But if you're interested in developing your conservation plan here locally in Trinity County, um, please feel free to contact myself at um, this phone number here at the office. I'm available by email and here is our physical address um, to make a scheduled an appointment to visit our office. And with that, I would just like to say thank you for your time and I look forward to working with you on your conservation plan. Have a good day. Oh, well, thank you so much, Taylor, for joining us today. And thank you for visiting our Living with Wildfire mini series. Keep checking back. We will have one more video. Uh, so we hope you have a great day. Thank you. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.